Dad's girl greetings are not really what people consider greetings, but I didn't know what else to call them. Many are actually many testimonies of answered prayers in the form of poems and words of wisdom born out of prayer and life lessons learned. I tell people these keepsakes are for life's occasions because they were written for people dealing with real life trials and triumphs. I used to write the words on the blank note card I bought from the store and give it to the person I had hoped to encourage. Then I started reusing messages for people in similar circumstances. That's when I knew these cards were not just for my friends. Since I knew they could be shared in a card form, I learned how to make them because keepsakes are for keeps. People hold on to them and cherish them. Over the years, people have often bought the cards for themselves because they encourage, comfort, and even convict. God's Girl Greetings has gone through many transformations, but the heart of God's Girl Greetings is God. And when the words start flowing in my mind, I grab any paper available and start to write the message down. I even had to pray for birthday and Christmas cards when I started this company because people told me I could not have a greeting card company without them. So I did. There are so many ways to use God's Girl Greetings. Next to simply sharing an individual card with someone, five packs are probably my favorites. They have different themes, encouragement, assorted, blank, and a mix of thank you and blank note cards. These are easy to share with guest speakers, volunteers, and give as housewarming gifts. I also have a five-pack set for the bride and for the families of those who have lost loved ones. You can also turn an open face card into a gift just by setting it up on a mini easel. It can go anywhere around your home or office. I also place the messages on apparel along with some scripture. And if you want to take your children's artwork off the fridge, I can place it on a t-shirt, tote bag, or apron to share with the world.